Hi everybody, Steve Carlson here at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Gonna do a quick overview video here on a Albemarle 31 dual console. We're getting ready to deliver this boat real soon. We did a real lengthy profile on this boat over the winter, but uh, now that we've got it rigged up and she's ready to go to her owner, wanted to do just a quick walk through here. Sun's the wrong direction for this one, but uh, all white hull, silver and black accented bootstripe on this one. 31 dual console, Albemarle. This one, we do have the white painted 300 Yamahas. Of course, the Armstrong bracket. You can see on this boat, we did the um, barrier coat and bottom paint. So we use an Interlux Interprotect 2000 system. And then the VC offshore for the uh, best in protection and not sacrificing performance. So you can see the motors trim all the way up here. I've got boxes open here. We'll close those up, but uh, show you a few things here. Just looking in on the on the boat here. Got great access into the bilge area. Two very nice deep fish boxes that have um, overboard macerator drains. You can see the size of it in this one. Of course, a nice transom door. Nice set of rod holders up top and then down the sides. You'll see an extra cleat here. That's something we do in our Great Lakes package. And also something else we have our friends at Albemarle do is add this extra rod holder in the center back here. Great place to throw a net or just an extra line when you're clearing lines. Got a nice bait well, fish box cooler in the transom here. Again, huge access to all of your systems area. Um, it's so big partially because this boat is capable of a generator and actually also a sea keeper system. So great access to that. Um, they set it up so that if you wanna add it in the future, you can. Um, you'll see a couple of bases on here for some trolling gear. Again, uh, we partner up with the best in the business. These are uh, custom made for us by our friends at Cisco Fishing Systems in Cleveland, Ohio. These are a uh, custom wedge mount to um, flatten things out. Going to be a couple downriggers in the back and then a four bank of trolling rod holders here on the side. Looking forward here, you'll see that um, we add an extra rod holder going up the tower legs. Uh, standard installs two. We do a third one there so that our guys that are trolling planer boards here can actually use these uh, while they're fishing here. And you'll notice these are rotated a little bit up and out. Uh, makes it work for both big mast and ski planer boards and then also the inline board. So I'm gonna close up these fish boxes here for a second. And then, of course, we've got the nice fold down seat and the transom. And then on this boat, also over on the side. So close the transom door. Your hardcore fish boat becomes pretty social quickly. Behind the helm here, we've got the Canyon Electric Grill. Got a freshwater sink. Refrigerator. I know the lighting is not very good here. Uh, really nice double wide lounge seat on the uh, port side facing backwards. Big thick uh, spacious coolers or right now storing a cannon downrigger that needs to get put together. There's a uh, wet sounds speaker. Moving forward to the helm. Here's the uh, wet sounds system here. This one does have the subwoofer. So. Thanks to uh, Ryan and all the guys over at wet sounds for again, nothing but the best. 
And looking forward on the helm here, we've got a nice Simrad 16 inch display on this particular boat. Uh, I wanna give a thanks out to Chris Molina over at Navico Simrad for the help there, as always. Standard Horizon VHF. Uh, this boat's got the Optimus 360 system, so this controller here is for the steering and the integrated autopilot. We do have the Optimus 360 joysticks station, autopilot C station, um, the wireless phone charger, awesome feature. Looking forward on the boat here, you'll notice great visibility through a full glass windshield, just a small amount of uh, Isinglass up above. Custom enclosure every time from Albemarle looks and fits great. On the port side here, we've got dual bolster set up. So you can have them up or down with foot rests. You can drop this down, you really, there's room for three people here. And then folding armrest. Both sides there. Nice helm from LeBrock. All the seating's from LeBrock. Uh, really nice stuff here. Uh, we've got some drawers built in here. Some switches for the water systems, live wells, pumps. Got both uh, fresh and raw water back on the transom. Again, coming forward here, uh, looking here on the port side, we've got a uh, very large storage area. One of the things on these Albemarle dual consoles is um, they definitely are best in class in terms of fishability, which we've talked about quite a bit, and also in functional storage. So port side, we've got a nice deep head compartment. Um, I'm 6'1", I can get in there easily. A freshwater sink. Mirror set up. And then quite unique to this boat, this is the 31 dual console. Ahead of the helm, entry door here on the starboard side, going down in. And again, I know this lighting's not that great, but um, you've got a microwave, you've got some cabinets. Here's all of your breakers. And then this boat does have capability for sleeping down below. So full berth that runs the beam of the boat forward. And then walking forward here, got the removable bow table. That's kind of nice, uh, nice comfortable forward seats with an armrest. These cushions come off. Um, that's nice, so you can put them away, get them out of the way. And then a nice recessed windlass forward that you can operate with the toggle switch here. And then of course from the helm. Nice rugged pop-up cleats. Also here, and then again, here's the profile of this nice tall windshield. Really closes up nicely, gives you the, all the protection you'd have in an express boat, but you've got the family friendly and versatile use of space from a dual console. So just give you another profile here at the back end. And I will touch again on the fishability aspects of this dual console. Put these seats up so you can see how quickly that happens. You can see you've got toe kick space underneath. You don't have exposed upholstery. Uh, one of the nice things on our bracket setup on this boat is unlike so many of the competitors in the dual console space, we're not using uh, extensions off the gunnel here that get in your way when you're trying to deal with fish. So plenty of room in the corners to uh, deal with netting fish, or in this case, there's gonna be uh, set up for downriggers on each corner, and then a quad bank of Cisco rod holders here. 
Um, again, we've got a really nice access out to the platform through this transom door. So dealing with uh, salmon, walleye, and certainly any of the um, saltwater species if you take it south. So at any rate, contact me at Clemens Boats, Steve Carlson. We're the Great Lakes dealer for Albemarle, the Carolina Classic. This is a 31 dual console that we are getting ready to deliver very soon here in the Great Lakes. Again, Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats. Look forward to working with you on an album for the Great Lakes.